Hello. Good evening, guys. How are you? Welcome aboard. Thank you, Mizam. Good to see you here. So, how are you? Good evening. Can you Good hear evening me? to you. Yes, very well. That's awesome. Hi, teacher. How are you? Are you fine? I'm okay. And you? That's awesome. So far, so good. And we have Dylan. Dylan, how are you? Welcome aboard. Welcome, uh, I mean, to our group. Hello. How are you doing? Are you fine? Hello, everybody. Thank Hello. you. I am fine. That is awesome. Hello, Mr. Abdullah. How are you, man? Long time I'm no good. see. <laughs> I'm fine. How are you? How are you doing? So far, so good. Yeah. Dealing with, uh, you know, good Zoom evening, meetings. Everyone. Uh, I was busy last uh, week. Uh, That's okay. But uh, this week we, okay, mm -hmm. we made it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Of course, hopefully, and uh, a couple. Of, I mean, like like uh, one hour before, there was a Zoom Zoom meeting, and there were different people from again from around the world. It was really interesting. Uh, yeah, but this one is for basically advanced levels level of uh, English speakers. And of course, hopefully we will have another one tomorrow. You know that, <laughs> that is uh, special, yeah. special. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe I will join tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully. hopefully. And uh, fantastic, people are joining. Uh, you know, we can uh, do the like classic version, like, I ask questions, you can just mention your ideas or we can, yeah, perfect. we can just, um, I can actually divide you into two groups. You can talk to each other. I, from time to time, I can just join you and talk to you. But because like uh, in the previous meeting, uh, I asked the question, like, which one is your favorite summer or winter? Some people said summer, some people said winter. So I divided them into two groups, all right? And then they talked about it. It was really interesting. Yeah, maybe interesting idea. The, maybe we can do yeah, that. Yeah, we can do the same. The same thing. So let's just take yeah. votes. Uh, how many people enjoy winter or prefer winter? How many people prefer summer? Just let me know. Okay, who prefers winter? Uh, I am between. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so I reserve you. Maybe I can just put you to those uh, groups, okay. which are basically, uh, I mean, not a lot yeah. of people there. Yeah, I am of the same opinion as Abdullah okay. because <laughs> I I am between because uh, every every season has a a, a positive and the negative aspects. Okay, as the, the different side of the same coin, and so I love winter, but I love uh, summer as well. So That's yeah. That's awesome. All right. I will uh, basically let you know. And uh, others, Sude, which one would you choose? Just choose one. No problem. Of course, I created uh, kind, uh, some, some questions. I will share the questions with you. And then you can just use the questions and to maintain the conversation. Which one would you choose? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I talk, but you couldn't hear me. Really? No, now I can hear you. Yes. Your microphone was off, I think. Yeah. I think both of them is important. So I'm between two. No problem. Listen, we are not here to save the world. <laughs> this, is, this is kind of excuse to just talk, speak out. That's it. No worries. Okay, summer. Right. I'm choosing summer. You're choosing summer. Of course, we're going to add extra questions. Hello, Roy, again. Okay. How are you, man? He's very passionate, you know? That is awesome. And of course, uh, your, your microphone is mute. Uh, and of course, oh I can't- Oh my God, I'm so sorry, sorry. I'm back, I'm <laughs> back again, thank you. No, no problem. And we have a new guest, his name is, uh, I cannot read your name, man. Hafid. 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 Hafid El Gibran, right? Yes, oh my I can read. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, this is my this is my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, I know. Uh, I'm choose uh, winter because 
uh, in in my country Indonesian uh, just have three uh, waiters. Okay. It's like listen, hot. listen, wait, 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 wait. wait. First, winter. just choose you choose winter, right? You choose winter. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Hold on a second. And let's okay. say hello to Humeira. How are you? Welcome aboard. Can you hear us? Yes. Uh, oh. Can you hear me? Of course. Of course. I can. If I can hear, everybody can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's awesome. I'm fine. How are you? So Hi. far, so good. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. So we can. How many people? Just let me know. Maybe I can randomly choose you because it is going to be, hold on a second. Let me assign them manually. Uh, group number one is going to be, are going to be Sude Abdullah Ilan. Okay. And there's another person coming. Hold on a second. Let me add that person too. Uh, and group number two will be like, Afit, Humeira, Rita, and Roy. All right, four people. So I'm going to assign you to a separate room. And I will, of course, join you. I will share you extra questions. You can use the questions to maintain the conversation, of course, because sometimes we are out of topic, out of uh, things to just talk about. So the questions can help you to maintain the conversation. And what else, what else? And then, of course, we will come back and talk, okay? Hold on a second. Now, uh, you're going to see a message. You join and you will be moved to that specific room, all right? Okay, like that. Now you can see a kind of message. Click on that and join. And we have a new... Participants, uh, Haider Ali, how are you? Welcome aboard. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, man. How are you? Can you hear me? I'm good. Yes, I can hear you. That is awesome. Fantastic. Now I am going to put you a into a kind of group, all right? And you are going to discuss uh, the questions. <clears throat> all right. All right. Roy, did you? Join. I think Roy and Dylan have problems. Dylan, what about you? Could you join the room? There's a kind of message. Click on the message, tap on the message on your telephone, and then join that room. And maybe I can put, hold on a second. I will put uh, Haider Ali to group number one. All right, hold on a second. Group number one. Now you will receive a uh, message. Click on that and join. Good evening. Hello for interruption. Sorry, guys. Let me share the Welcome. questions. Okay. So you can use the chat and you can just, you know, talk and I will come back to you again. There are lots of lots of questions. You don't need to just use all of them. Just, just try to use some of them, maybe then uh, come back. Okay. Okay. Do you see the question? Uh, I okay. don't know. I mm -hmm. I have some idea, maybe about, I want to share, but uh, maybe after we read the questions. Sure, sure, man. Sure, sure, of course. No problem, man. I will come uh, back. Okay. I will come back. Okay. Okay. Uh uh, for me, I uh, experienced living. Hello, um, sorry guys for interruption. Uh, let me share the questions. Do you, do you have the questions, by the way, right? In the chat box. I think I didn't get. All right. So whenever I share from which whichever room uh, that I, I share, so everybody can see it, right? Sorry, Maison. I have no. Uh, I have nothing in my chat box. Okay. Let me share that again. Yeah. Thank you. I shared them. The questions again in the I chat see. box you should see them right uh, now now they arrived yeah. yes all right yes. you can all use right. these questions to maintain the conversation you know sometimes we don't know what to talk about uh, that is normal so the questions can help you to ask to come up with some you know topics right okay yeah. i will come back to you again thank you 
Please, Afid, do you want to go on, carry on with your introduction? You said you, you are... Can you hear me? Can you see and hear me? Yes, yes, yes. I can hear you. That's awesome. Fantastic. Actually, people are in different rooms. Okay. I created two rooms. Uh, and then I will put you into those rooms. You can discuss. All right. Understand? All right. Okay. Hold on a second. Uh, group number one. You will receive a message, click on the message and join the room. Sample, okay. If I want, okay. <laughs> if I want to improve back. my, yeah. if I want to improve my own language, I have to read, I have to, um, to listen to particular speech and things like that, okay. And so above all, when I want to improve my English, yes. Umeira, what are you studying? What, what subject you are studying? Because uh, Afid is a high school, I think, okay? It, uh, he is uh, still at school. Roy is a uh, graduated in English literature and the English language. And you, what are the subjects of your studies? Uh, I'm uh, graduated uh, from Marmara University in uh, health management. Uh, my oh, department God. was uh, health management, uh, but uh, I don't find a job uh, in that uh, department. Mm. Uh, so uh, mm. I study uh, in ec economics now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. And I love economics. So uh, I'm uh, very um, happy now. Well, I think that economics are very, very, is a very interesting subject, strictly connected to health management, okay? Because if we want to stay in a good health at the moment in this kind of society, we have to change the idea of economics, okay? And so but, but I, I think, think teacher, yeah, uh, I, I think uh, economics is related to the financial thing. Uh, this because uh, this related to the uh, country and uh, uh, financial crisis and financial uh, development of our country. So these things actually uh, might be taught in economic subject, as I know. And I think this is actually not related to health management or something like that. You don't is that right? You don't think it is related to health management? I haven't understood what you say. What you what yeah, you say? I my opinion says uh, mm -hmm. this is economics doesn't relate to uh, health management. Uh, it only uh, relates to the uh, financial uh, you know development and this crisis and sometimes how to develop these kind of things, how to grow up economic uh, boost and this. This thing's actually taught in this economic subject, right? Uh, yeah. I know a little bit about it, probably. Yeah, I, I, I slightly disagree with you because I think that today in this kind of society, every, every and any subjects of our studies are related to health management, okay? Because the first important subjects in order to, to live a better life is health management. Health management is related to agriculture, for example, to medicine, to research, to economics, and to, politi to politics and things like that. So if you want to live a good life, a, an honest life, you have to be a good, you have to, you, you should have a good economical um, environment around you as a country, okay? Instead, we have a lot of countries, very, very rich. They are rich, but there are a lot of people that are very, very poor. And so we have to, to fill this gap, okay? In order yes, to teacher, and sorry to interrupt you, please. Uh, it, it, it's obviously correct and right, I, I do agree, but I think uh, this is totally indirect process not so active and as she studied once uh, in uh, health management and now uh, she didn't get job uh, from his own speciality now she's studying in economics so it's gonna help help her to get a job in these kind of fields in her country uh, maybe and if she studies now if she has completed or he's, she's gonna complete her study in this uh, economics then she's not gonna 
get any job from her, uh, you know, uh, health management field or any kind of fields like this. So I think uh, this is obviously indirectly uh, pointing out that uh, everything is related to health management, but directly, I think this is not related to you, health management, basically this economics uh, subject and studies. Okay. okay, this is your opinion, yeah, okay. Yeah, That's obviously right. it's my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. thank you, and I'm so sorry to interrupt you that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. So we can we can have the, the question, we can have, we can use the question as a as a, a list in order to uh, to to speak to speak around us. What's your favorite um, season and why? Okay, this is the first question. Who wants to to answer for for first? Meira, do you want to answer? Uh, yes. Your, your, uh, your... Uh, my favorite season is uh, summer. Uh, of course, in Turkey, uh, because uh, I hate uh, winter and cold weather, and uh, it's very cold. Uh, it can be uh, very cold in here in Turkey. Uh, so I hate uh, winter and I love uh, summer. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for me, as I said before, in the general room, I love the season uh, as, a, as I love as a summer as well. I love winter. OK, but of course, my favorite, I prefer um, definitely I prefer summer season and not winter. Wow. Okay? Even though winter has a fascinating aspects for me and a particular feelings because during winter season, we in Italy have a traditional events, traditional festivity, Christmas, Christmas time, for example, in Italy, it happens in winter, okay? And so it, uh, it happens to me, the sweet memories and a good uh, visit again, uh, good friends and things like that. But anyway, definitely I prefer <laughs> summer because I love sun, I love to go to the beach. And so, yes, I live in a, in a city by the sea. And so you can see from my skin, I am tanning. Also, I, I know that tanning is, a, is very, very negative for my skin, but I don't care because I love sun. I love sea. And also the, the, the picture, the, 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 the what, what is behind the teacher Maison, for example, it's wonderful. It could be considered a winter, a winter picture, but also uh, a summer picture, okay, a summer event. And so the, 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 the waves against the rocks, the sound of the, of the sea, the sound, the voice of the seagulls in a, in a, in a, on the winter, on, on the sea, they are wonderful for me, okay, and so yes. There is nothing as the voice of the sea and uh, living near this part of the nature. Yeah. Yeah, that's very nice. So for you, so, Roy, now is your turn. What is your your? Oh, okay, your, okay. Why you have to to to, to explain why? Obviously, I'm gonna try my best. Uh, thank you, teacher. And I like, uh, actually, uh, am I between two the seasons? I mean, summer and winter, I like summer most. And I wanna uh, explain another thing that in my country, we probably get four seasons in our country, like summer season, winter season, rainy season, and spring season. So among these four seasons, I like most spring season because in this season, everything looks like so beautiful and uh, the natural really seems to be like gloomy. And so as we are talking about only two seasons, so uh, between these two seasons, I would like summer obviously. And I think uh, before joining this, I was talking to somebody about the summer season. So I like it basically for uh, having a lot of, you know, facilities in this season rather than winter season, I mean, uh, the first thing is we have a very long day. Obviously, that is longer than winter season. And the next one is in my country, as my country is agriculture based. So here in my country, in this particular season, 
uh, we get a lot of uh, harvest the farmers do and actually it's harvesting time and uh, the farmers they produce different kind of crops and different kind of uh, uh, berry and fruits also so in the this is actually summer season going on here in my country and here I like it very much because uh, whenever I go outside, I can dress me up with only t-shirt and very simple dresses. I just need to get myself prepared instantly with these things. And next is uh, obviously going outside and doing something else and sometimes going to base, going to uh, pool. These, these are my amazing things I like to do. And also in this season that we actually do in every morning, that is, we like to play soccer. So that's really so amazing for me in this season. But uh, in winter season, it's really a little bit hard for all of the guys because uh, in this cold weather, everything looks like so crazy. And to go outside and to do jobs, to do some of the activities, it's like very lazy at days and don't feel actually comfortable like yeah, these are sorry, very Roy, sorry, Roy. Uh, if I sorry, sorry, if I interrupt you, but can you tell you me know. if you, you what's the weather like in your country? I I mean, it's you have a like uh, uh, a weather an extreme uh, weather. I mean, uh, flood, typhoon, very 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 important storms and things like that. Because sometimes in Europe, we uh, watching the TV news, for example, we. Um, we can see that there are a lot of problems with the, the climate, the weather, very strange weather in the yeah. Asian part of the planet. Okay. And so, yes, we are all the planet is really interested in this climate changing. And so we have to, to be to be worried about this possibility. I think that in Turkey, you may correct me if I am mistaken. In Turkey, you have not you have you don't have uh, an extreme extreme weather yes. as uh, in the yes the part yeah okay? the weather is very normal here normal normal yes. okay you have snow you have some parts uh, in some parts of turkey you have also the snow in winter isn't it mm -hmm. uh yes uh sometimes uh the weather was uh very uh can be very uh, rainy but uh not ex extreme not extreme, very extreme. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah in bangladesh in bangladesh instead you have a, you have a, um, problems with the weather related to weather yeah obviously uh there are a lot of changes actually going on nowadays uh before that we really had six seasons but nowadays uh two seasons already disappeared because of the uh, climate changing and uh, uh irregular weather that's going on here and in this season we are getting uh really scorching sunshine uh, sometimes we are getting uh, cloudy skies and sometimes it's raining, not actually raining heavily, it's drizzling and yeah, obviously it's changing and I think not like people and I don't know what's actually going to be like. So from my childhood, I am just experiencing these things that everything's really changing as I am observing these things. Yeah, I remember. For me, it's the same because I remember long, very long, long afternoon during my childhood and rainy afternoon, very long and rainy afternoon. Okay, but the, the it's not it was not a very heavy rainy, but a light, a light rainy, and so it was constant for days and days and days. Now the climate is always very pleasant in Italy, above all in the southern Italy where I live. But anyway, the climate is definitely changed. Okay, so we have very dry summer, very dry seasons sometimes, and then very, 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 very humid and warm winter okay it's not normal it's not normal because i remember when i was a child i was with pullover with scarves with gloves because it very it was very very cold now that i am growing up in in my age sometimes i don't use none i don't use scarf i don't use some very heavy clothes because the climate is totally different totally different i am very worried about this climate change because we leave to our to our children to our future generations a planet totally ruined so if we if we don't change our our uh, behavior 
how we how we uh, behave. So it will be a very, very, very difficult moment for the future, for the next generations. What do you think? Yeah, obviously, uh, my opinion says you are the only one here. Bombay, we Bombay. recently had. Bombay is like uh, 13 million, I think now. Mumbai, actually, I just made you, I just recalled in Mumbai to make you understand how Karachi is because Mumbai is like a well famous city in all the world. The Karachi is the same. And it's just, you can also compare Karachi like Istanbul, Dubai, or New York. It is like the city which is the backbone of Pakistan, leading the country financially, economically and educationally, nationally, by all the way, all ahead. So this is what the Karachi is. And since the people are here in a huge majority, so we have a number of issues as well. Traffic issues, air issues, sea issues, rain issue, mismanagement, construction, many, many issues. So it's like, it's like living in a hell, <laughs> but it's good anyway. Uh -huh. Do you experience there any sandstorms? I'm sorry, any what? Uh, sandstorms. Yes, recently, I still, I remember a month ago, I had an interview and it was like an expected, interview was planned, but the storm was unexpected. It sharp 5 p.m. I had to leave my office and I left. What happened? I just moved a two minutes ahead from my office it was like damn sandy storm and it was like a stronger winds. And I was on my motorbike and riding as usual on a way. It was a highway where I was riding. Many car drivers, like they just slowed down their speed, but I was like a stupid guy riding in a full speed because I had to reach at the point to get my interview done. And what happened then finally I fell down because of the stronger winds, then I stood at the side, at the corner of the road, then I felt I need to stop at least for four or five minutes, then I stood up there until the storm stops. Then I restarted my bag and went to there. And when I reached at the office for interview, then I looked at myself at the mirror. I was like totally dusty. You can imagine a person yeah, yeah. going to go for an interview and if he or she is found uh, like a dusty, what the impression would be yeah, you know it's uh, like man yeah, and a blessed thing about dust it enters everywhere even in your ears and uh, in your eyes everywhere and so yeah it's unpleasant i don't know we have maybe to ask uh teacher Mesa, my ears were did covered. we say actually Sorry. my ears were covered because i was wearing helmet <laughs> oh good good for you then uh should we say sandy storm uh, storms or sand storms or either I would, way. I would say sandstorm. Sand. Sand. Sand, storm, sand storm. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, maybe sandy weather. We can say it. Uh, I mean, the best way is to check it. But as far as I remember, it should be like sandstorm, something like sand that. Storm. Sand yeah, it's sandstorm storm because sand mm -hmm. doesn't look correct. It's Probably sandstorm, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sandstorm. Uh, so that. Do you have, uh, do you experience any sandstorms here in Turkey? No, I haven't. Uh, not you, I mean in Turkey, the, uh, the climate here uh, in Turkey. Maybe not in Istanbul, I don't think in Istanbul because it is close to the sea and and uh, surrounded by greens. Uh, those um, sandstorms usually happen uh, when, the, when you are close to deserts, so... Yeah. I don't know if there, there is sure. some desert here in sure. Turkey. Guys, I want to ask you one thing. Are you all from Turkey? I am Syrian, I'm... Uh, but now I'm I'm living in Turkey. I'm from Turkey. All right. Uh, so, so and, Turk. Turk. And yes, Mr. Meeson. Yes, he's from Turkey, I know. So I am from Iran. In... Sorry, I am from oh. Iran, but I live in Turkey, in Istanbul, Turkey. Yeah. All right. So, Miss, I don't know your name. Uh, do you live in Istanbul as well? Yeah, Tell I live in Istanbul. Istanbul. Ah, Istanbul, Istanbul. Wow, Istanbul, Istanbul, and uh, Syria, right? 
Uh, by the way, I think Istanbul 20 million, right? Correct? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Officially 15 million. Six... Uh, uh, 15 much... or 16, yes. Yeah, officially million. 16. Officially 16. Like local people, as far as I know. But, you know, considering tourists, I don't know, my, uh, immigrants, I don't know. Immigrants, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, students, some other people. Yeah, it could be like 20. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, uh, like I just searched for Pompeii and Pompeii is very famous for its uh, crowding situation and uh, you know the traffic and everywhere, uh, everything related to, to, to crowd. And it is only 30 million. I mean, Istanbul has population higher or bigger than, uh, than Pompeii. Yet, you don't feel Istanbul that, that crowded. I, I think Istanbul is um, is doing well by making that balance by uh, between uh, even you can find parks, uh, greens, and uh, the beach. Uh, yesterday we went to to the beach uh, to the park on the beach on uh, the Asian side, Muda, I think the name. And yes, it very big place and very like I think longer than two or three kilometers. Nothing, just the greens and. Uh, in front of the sea. So yeah, really uh, this balancing uh, between uh, greens and construction and even roads and everything is, yeah, really appreciated. Comparing with, with other uh, huge cities in the world, I think uh, they are doing well here. Yeah, I agree I must, with that. I must say Istanbul is well organized. Uh, and surprisingly, we were a very big group yesterday, and um, most of them uh, Turkish people. And there was a couple, and uh, they were like, uh, we, they prefer other uh, places over uh, Turkey or Istanbul. And I started asking them, uh, where you have been? They, they had been to Europe uh, mostly. And uh, I asked them if you want, for example, Germany, if you want to eat some good food, where do you go? Uh, they said uh, some Turkish restaurant. <laughs> so, and uh, comparing the, the climate and the weather, where is better? They said here. But when you get used for this uh, beauty, maybe you, you less appreciate it. Or uh, we have saying in Arabic, uh, that uh, I don't know if it can translate it, um, it uh, correctly. You appreciate things uh, when you miss them. I don't know if it is correct. Uh, in I understood English. this. Huh? So I get it. I get it. You yeah, got it. Exactly. I got that. Mm -hmm. That is normal. Of course, you know, we always appreciate those things that we don't have. Uh, I mean, not anymore. You know, yes, we miss them. Yeah. And in that case, yeah, that is totally, I mean, it, it totally makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, when you have things and they are really good, but you are used to, to have them or to see them uh, in, in, in the routine, daily routine, you don't give them that appreciation they deserve. Uh, you give this appreci 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 <laughs> appreciation appreciation uh, appreciation only after you miss uh, them. Exactly. We only know the value of something after we yes. just, uh, how can I say, lose them or... Or uh, experience uh, other, other things, less, ex less uh, quality. Exactly, exactly, yeah. I mean, this is unfortunately in um, uh, human beings' blood. Uh, we, are <laughs> we are so <laughs> interesting people, yeah. Very, because not just interesting. I mean, human beings are so forgetful. We forget things very easily. We know a lot of things, but we forget, keep forgetting. Uh, yes, it can yes, be life, it can be anything. Forgetting. Yeah, yeah, always, unfortunately. Yes, I totally agree. Yeah. Hi again. Hello again. Hello, guys. You know, yeah, I mean, this is one of the really terrible uh, feature, you know, the free version.
uh, <laughs> has this. Let's uh, try one time. Uh, let's try one time the Google Meet. Maybe we find it better. Of course, for me, I love Google. I mean, all of the uh, all of Google's products, they are awesome. They're for free forever. I mean, Google yes. itself, Google Meet, you know, Google Calendar, I use a lot. Google Gmail, Drive, I use it a lot. YouTube, I use it a lot. You know, yes. these are really fantastic. It is up to you. We uh, are prisoners, prisoners to, to go for Google, I think. Yeah, I mean, this is really awesome. But yeah, but it is not really, I don't know. It depends on people. However, they, are, uh, they feel comfortable, of course. You try it once. Maybe you try it once and see what others uh, say. Or I think right. well, most, right. most of them would be able to join. And why? once they try it, they will okay. join. Yeah. Yes, why not? Maybe uh, next time we can try that. Uh, Teacher, is there any differences between Zoom and Google Meet? You know, the concept is the same. The point is, on uh, I think it is unlimited on Google. There is no limit unless you close that. And one of the really uh, greatest version, I mean, feature features on uh, Google Meet is you can you can uh, enable subtitles, and whoever is talking, you can see what he or she is saying. That is awesome. Wow. I love that. You know, wow. live. Uh, this feature is amazing. Amazing. Yeah, feature. we can test our our speaking <clears throat> quality. Yeah, you should enable the the CC like closed uh, caption, and then uh, after I mean in a few seconds, like one or two seconds, you know, delay, it is supposed <laughs> to transcribe uh, whatever you are saying. That is awesome. Another yeah. thing is you don't need anything. Uh, I think you can. You only need to have a Gmail on your telephone. You just click on the link, join. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> you join and you continue talking. That is it. But but the point, the problem maybe can be, be imagine that we are like 10 people, 20 people, for example. In that case, mm -hmm. two people can talk. Maybe one person can talk and the others should just listen. <clears throat> what happened to me? One of the best features on Zoom is we can put the people, put people into different rooms so that, uh, you know, uh, we have limited number of people so that everybody can have the time, have the chance to, to just speak out. That is the only I thing. Am, I am not sure <laughs> if uh, Google missed uh, this, uh, this feature. Maybe we have to go double check uh, in the options and Why settings. Not? Why not? Yeah. I, I will check that again. But not yeah. necessarily now, because we are already in the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not now, not now. Time. Any time later, maybe. All we right. just try it. And uh, always, mm -hmm. in one minute, we can move to, to Zoom if... Absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah. do you want to continue this way? Or again, you need me to just divide into two, into groups? I don't know. It is I think we are not, not uh, much now. Okay. So, you can speak. I don't just interfere. Yeah. Because this is opportunity number, for you to talk. Yes. Yeah, Sorry. the number now of people participating is uh, reducing. And so, yes, maybe it's better for us to stay in a general room or together and so go on. Anyway, I think that Zoom is much better for all of us because we have the necessity to talk with each other, each other, or to explain. Instead, in Google Meet, this is not possible, as it seems. Okay. And so, yeah, if, uh, if, if, yeah, yeah, because we we need we need to talk, we need to express, we need to improve English, and we need to talk in English. Okay, and okay. so as you said before, if this is not possible in Google Meet, this is a bit uncomfortable for us yeah. not to have the possibility to talk each no, other. No, 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 you can talk. I mean, the concept uh -huh. is like the same, like camera, you know, voice, everything is the uh -huh. same. But as I said, the only maybe the problem which I am unaware of right now is the breaking out rooms that we uh -huh. have on Zoom. Uh, right now it is okay. But imagine, as I said, like we are 20 people, 30 people, I don't know. It is really hard to, because only we have 40 minutes. So yeah. 40 minutes for, for 40 people means one minute. So that is not enough. But on Google, yeah. because it is unlimited, you can stop the conversation whenever you want. 
This is the only thing. But I will check that. I will, uh, you know, double check that. Uh, but that's okay. Yeah, please go ahead. I don't want to talk because this is a kind Good of evening. opportunity for people to. Hello, start. everyone. Hello, how are you? Welcome I'm good. Aboard. Thanks. What about you? So, so far, what so is good. The vocal points right now. What is going on? <laughs> no, I have asked what is the vocal point you are talking about? What is your topic? Uh huh. For it's now? kind of general thing about the quality and you know features of Zoom or Google Meeting. Google Meet, sorry. Yeah. Like that. And then, of course, you can continue. I don't want to say anything because I talk a lot. So I <laughs> myself use. No, it's okay. We enjoy, we enjoy, we enjoy you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You. We enjoy you. No problem. No problem. Just go ahead. Sometimes Lisa, I do. Are you from Argentina? Sorry? It's are for you me from the question. Argentina? No, I am from Italy. From Italy. Italy. No. Okay. Nice to meet you. The same for me. Nice to meet you. Not, um, not, very, you far. Italy, Italy, not very far. <laughs> really? Okay. Where are you from, Abdullah? I am Syrian, but I'm living in Istanbul now. Really? Oh my gosh, yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> because I am Syrian too. Really? Where do you live now? Where, where are you living? Yeah. I do live in Syria. Okay, in Rita, Syria. could you tell me something interesting about Italy? Yeah, of course, yes. Please carry on. What do you want to know? I think your connection is not very stable. Yeah, it's normal. She is uh, talking from Syria, it's normal. Yeah. Unfortunately. Life, are you there? Yes, of course, I'm here. You know, I just try to connect with people. Uh, I am all ears. I'm listening. Nothing is, is going wrong. Go ahead. You're, please, uh, you can continue what, whatever you were talking about. No, I think we, we lost uh, life. Aha. Uh -huh. maybe... okay, okay, sorry. All right. Yeah. No, we lost for we... Come back. <laughs> That's okay. <clears throat> I don't think life has lost her connection, so we need to go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead, please. Yeah, I mean, uh, as I said, the uh, con the topic is a kind so, of excuse. Uh, we... Yes, uh, please. In the in the in the last in the last um, break room, we were talking about the the climate changing. That is a topic that I am very worried about because I think that the next generations they will have a very big problems with the climate changing. Okay, if we if we don't change our behavior, we um, we risk to leave the next generation a very uh, a planet uh, really destroyed or almost ruin it okay and so i was um i, I was thinking about uh, uh, something that happened in europe uh, i don't know if uh, you know um a very good girl a 16 girl greta thunberg yes, uh, yes. She, yeah she's a swedish student swedish student and she decided before the pandemic of course she has become a, an adult i think now sorry she has become an adult, I think, now. Yeah. 16 yeah, yeah, years, yeah, maybe yeah, two or three yeah, years ago, yeah, after the yeah. pandemic, uh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. lost counting. We lost. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. she decided to skip the school uh, on Fridays and to, and to go in front of the Swedish parliament with a very big poster. And on this poster, there is a, a quotation. We have to something like that. Um, let's, let's save the planet uh, or things like that, okay? And after this first example by Greta Thunberg, a lot of young people, a lot of students, they decided to follow her example, okay? And so they decided to skip the school on Fridays and to give, uh, to share with her this opinion, this idea all over the Europe, uh, all over the world, okay? In order to, to make the different parliaments, the different governments aware of the very big risks 
and a very big danger. We are we are going to um, forward, okay? And so, yes, I wanted to know if you know this Greta Thunberg, but I think that Abdullah already knows her, no? I uh, you know her and I love her, I love her. Yeah, me too, me too, I love her because- uh, Unfortunately, I, I don't that... know much details, but I know how she she reached to the the fame and she, even presidents, they had to talk about her, yeah. so. I think even Donald Trump some, at some point uh, has uh, some an yeah, issue very, with, uh, on very Twitter with, with her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so if, she is very if, famous. If, I love her. Yeah, but but if Donald Trump is very disappointed, I'm very happy because uh, me yes, and, yeah. Donald, and Donald Trump we have the exact contrary uh, opinions and uh, and the happiness. So if he yes. is very happy, I'm very very sad and vice versa. <laughs> This is not political, huh? No, I, I don't want to. I don't want to talk to talk about politics because I think that this is a very controversial topic. So, just an opinion of mine, but I stop myself, of course. No, major, yeah. Majority, I agree, agree with you. Okay, thank you. I'm very glad. I'm very glad. Don't worry, don't worry. I, majority, I cannot I hear. I can I cannot even my hide my my happiness when I can find someone who thinks the same as I I think yeah no the majority the majority but uh, just uh, I think uh, those majority the good people in this world uh, they fed up with all this uh, dirty stuff mm -hmm. there so they just keep themselves away and uh, they don't. Uh, they don't argue. Maybe that's why you don't hear from them too much. Uh, yeah. But I think they are the majority. Well, I I I want I want to thank uh, Teacher Maisam, and I I want to tell you, Teacher Maisam, that I appreciate very very much what you are doing with this kind of job because I think that this is very good. In my order pleasure. To, my uh, pleasure. To, to, yeah to improve to make us improve our english okay but there is also another subtle uh, uh benefit. purpose uh, benefit yes thank you Abdullah. Benefit. because when i personally i am have the opportunity to talk with other people to spread my opinions not political opinions of course but but general opinion about climate changing, about to be honest, about to try to 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 fill the gap in the disequality, okay, among very rich people and very poor people. Okay, so all these things that that are very important and basic in my life. So if I have this opportunity in this kind of community in, with these conversations to improve my English. And at the same time, to to have the opportunity to give the other my, my this kind of of ideas, I think that this is a method in order to change the world. Okay, because it's not possible for me to go uh, and and make the war or, or go to uh, to the barricade with a with a pistol with a with a with a gun and things like that. Okay, and fight because. Otherwise, I am against the violence. So I don't love war, but I love peace. And so I think that war is a, a very stupid, silly thing. Okay. And the, the, the latest wars uh, have demonstrated how stupid uh, as men we are. Okay. And so, yes. So thank you, Teacher Mason, for your job, because I really appreciate you. My pleasure. Thanks what for you? being here. Thanks for being here. Of course, yeah, thank you. I see eye to eye with you on that uh, topic. You know, we are not only improving ourselves in terms of English, we are communicating, we are making friends, I mean, friendship. We are learning, you know, a lot of things from one another because normally everybody here is an uh, adult, an adult. So uh, they have, everybody at least uh, has some, some experiences. Who, who can share, of course, you are sharing, and this is awesome. I really enjoy, personally speaking, of course. Yeah. yeah hey, thing. guys, I want to I wanna go over the topic about uh, global climate change. As Ms. Rita just raised up, that's really great one. And I don't know about the girl that you guys were talking about, but 
what I noticed, uh, the global climate change conference from the global leaders going to be held up in Pakistan. And as far as I know, majority global leaders are agreed to start plantation in the countries and the vast area of their land to control the global changes, the global climate changes. As I made, as I told you, I guess Mr. Abdul Alia in a first conversation that Karachi is heating up these days. This is not just happening in Karachi. This is happening in almost, almost many, many cities in the South Asia region, in European states, in American and Latin states as well. And people are suffering badly these days. So I think the best and a basic step we should start now, if we give someone something, so we should give them a plant, a flower, a, a seed of a plant to sow in the, in the land so that the, the tree becomes a powerful for us in the future or for our generation that may lead our generation or may save us as well. What do you guys think about is that should be or not? I, I always uh, tell, tell this, I, I really appreciate uh, the, the, green, the balancing between agree, green nature and uh, construction and cities and concrete, let, let's say, uh, in Turkey. I, I always read about uh, plans to, for plantation, tree plantation in, in Turkey. And I think uh, in the last uh, 10 years, maybe Sude can give us more uh, specific uh, details. I think more than tens of millions of trees, uh, maybe hundreds, uh, I don't know, but really huge, huge, uh, yeah, big, you're numbers, right. big numbers uh, they are doing. And those, uh, those numbers, they are not, not small. I mean, uh, imagine, imagine like, 20 million uh, tree planted. I think someone has to go for the bus. <laughs> uh, but you can uh, mute your uh, from from your side, but you can mute yes. So maybe, you can... maybe from from my city, maybe from from my from my from the okay, my but house. Sorry, Abdullah, sorry. No, no, it's sorry. okay. It's okay. It happens. It happens. It's okay. So I was talking about the plantation plants uh, in Turkey. I think that maybe Suda can, can give us later more details. Uh, imagine like three or 10 million tree, uh, trees planted in one month or two months. Imagine after just five years, how is that this area how, how this area will look will look like imagine it and imagine the, the the even the effect on the on the climate itself i i think this side is less explained or less covered uh, in in the media or in 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 turkey because you 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 cannot feel it. You cannot feel the change in the in the climate because it is on long period time. Uh, I mean, you plant trees now and you get the, the results slowly, slowly, slowly after ten years. So after ten years, nobody will remember those uh, those plants. So maybe Suda can give us uh, more exact details or numbers. Abdullah, sorry, I interrupted yeah. you. Teacher Maison, I have to go now because I can I cannot stay. Thank you so much. I see hope you. to see you very very soon. Later. Sure, sure. That's okay. cool. Nice meeting Guys. you. Later. Nice you. meeting bye you. Bye. Hopefully, talk to you soon. Bye bye. Thank Take you. care. Thank. You. Bye bye. Uh, probably I can talk about planting trees. Uh, actually, I don't know the exact number of planting trees, but. Uh, some communities or volunteers also in schools, yeah, we are going to plant some trees because um, global warming is very dangerous, especially for um, our generations. It's very uh, dangerous. It's getting dangerous uh, because of factories and cars and uh, carbon dioxide gases. 
uh, it affects so badly for uh, our world. Uh, we need to do something for that. Uh, we are doing uh, planting trees. Maybe it's small, but small by small, one by one. Uh, we are trying to do save our world. Uh, so in school also, we are going to plant and we are doing some groups. We are going to plant trees and it's very good, I think, for our world, I think. You need to yeah, save. Yeah. It's very important. Yeah, we would appreciate if you, if you can later. Too. We would appreciate if you can bring later uh, some just some numbers. Uh, what what kind of plants? I I remember I I read the huge numbers, the huge numbers. Uh, yes, millions. Sure about... I don't know the exact number, but yes. uh, every year I think we are doing this, and millions of trees has planted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we would appreciate if we know the exact number really really a uh, good thing yeah Mr. even Hafe, for even uh, for small children, even for small children we are doing this we are trying to yes. do this yeah this is too uh, how to say it too uh, two pla two side planting uh, like uh, Real planting in the, for the tree and the idea planting, maybe if we can call it idea yeah. planting, or yeah, of course, yeah. I, I need to teach children from this, to teach them. yeah, to teach them uh, from this age uh, to go green. Uh, this is really great, uh, yeah, great uh, idea or great way. You know, the word that you were looking for can be spitballing. Have you ever heard of this word? spitball spitballing Skit something ball. let me Skit type balling. it let me type it here yes spitball for Skit example you can ball. say i am spitballing which means that i am just randomly talking about some uh, topics just throwing the topic into the uh, in front of people so that uh -huh. people can just give their own opinions okay uh -huh. And then out of that, you know, specific thing, you can create um, much more serious, much more, I mean, deeper uh, things, and then you can create something else out of it. I think you were looking for this word, spitball. Spitball. Spitball, yes, yeah, spitballing. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the new My word. Pleasure. It's a new word. Uh, a new word. For me, okay. new word. That's possible. Spitballing, yeah, thank you. Guys, I have got another question. Uh, I do appreciate what we need to do. The plantation is a basic and a go green and a grow green. That's that's good. But the results for the green and plantations are expected in the future, later five or 10 years for the generation. What about for us? What we have to do? How do we need to deal with the situation, with the heat that we are going through these days? What are your suggestions and opinions for the people living in a countries or in a state, cities, areas where the people are just surviving badly? Yeah, I, I feel I feel you. I, I I really understand what what kind of situation situation he, he was trying to to tell us. Uh, unfortunately, in in those places. Uh, the only thing we can do is uh, stop bringing too much children if you cannot afford giving them uh, good education. I think this is the only the only available practical suggestion for the normal people, as you said, not for the leaders or the powerful people, those people who has to have the power in their hands. But for those normal people who are just surviving, stop bringing children if you cannot give them good uh, education. I don't know. Maybe not the majority can agree with me for with for this point. But I think this is a very big respons responsibility for them. I mean, why do you bring too much children if you cannot afford giving them good health care, good uh, education? Why? Why? Leave uh, religion okay. alone. Even in religion, I can, I can argue with you. 
even in this, but why why people bring too much children if they cannot afford giving them good education, good life? I mean, this is responsibility. I mean, bringing children is not a game. Is not uh, you. This is life. If you cannot raise them and give them good life, don't bring them. You are responsible for them. Even religiously, I mean, you are responsible for them. So this is the only suggestion I can give for those poor people who are just surviving. Mr. Abdullah, I really appreciate your suggestion, but the, the, the topic turned to the low way, but my question was, is what about the people? They are now surviving the heat waves in the yes. city, in the areas. Yes, yes. What about those? Yes. I, I gave you, I gave you a, a suggestion for the, as a solution for the root of the problem. I mean, <laughs> well, I think... the, the root, the root <laughs> is over, overpopulation, overpopulation in poor country, in, in poor man, under poor management. This is, uh, I don't know, this is my, my opinion and uh, okay, I for a second, my for, for a second. Not. Okay, let's suppose for a second, if I agree with your opinion and let's put an example on your opinion. We have a country, etc., and the, the people are poor. The weather is hotter. So, how do you think, as per your opinion, the poor people need to stop doing children? They're not doing it. So, how the yes, country I will, will tell go you, ahead? I will tell you how. Uh, okay, I will go step by step until we reach how you you don't suffer from the high temperature. First of all, they are suffering because they, they are poor. They don't have good electricity. Uh, they don't have ACs, first of all. For example, in the Arabian Gulf, the temperature can reach 60. Can you imagine in Kuwait, 60 easily? But I lived there. I lived in the Arabian Gulf. You don't feel the heat at all because home air conditioned, cars air conditions. You go to the mini market air conditions, even a street. Can you imagine streets, a street? They, they have this, um, how to say that, teacher uh, may some, the, the water. Uh, Fountains? Uh, the water. Uh, uh, Fountains? This is, uh, they use it in uh, open areas, uh, cold water. Uh, Push it uh, in, in oh, high, they have high, air high pressure fire. and gives you. Uh, sorry, I don't have the word in English. Uh, uh, Ventilation. It's like, it's like uh, giving you a uh, spray, spray. Spring? Make water like a spray. I have no idea. Maybe there's a, ne there's a, a name for that, but I am unaware of that. Maybe yeah, there's a specific uh, name is, for that. This is uh, since 10 years mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. well, well known and uh, used technology in, uh, in the Arabian Gulf, but because they are rich, I mean, it costs money. You, so can you imagine they are air conditioning, the open area, not houses. So let's go back to Pakistan. I'm telling you that even 60 or 70 degree has solution. So let's go back. First of all, overpopulated. Second, less resources. I mean, you are not rich country. You have very few resources. Second, ba bad management. We, are, we don't want to, to, to talk about politically, but very, very poor and unhonest uh, management. So you, as a normal person, what has, what have, in, in, in your hands to do in this situation. I'm telling you, you, you have nothing to do. You cannot reach the power. It's bloody game. You cannot make them honest, those in power. And you cannot bring more resources to your, to your country. But what you can do, you can bring good people. You can make a new good generation. To make good generation, you need to make 
you need to focus on education, education and education. Without education, you cannot make any good generation, trust me. And this is over years building. It's not like one minute, one day. You have to build overnight. it. Overnight. Yeah, it's not overnight mission. You have to start from yourself, from your friends, from your family that, okay, you bring kids only those that you can educate very well. Imagine your country after 10 years, if everyone follow, follows this, uh, this suggestion, you would have after 10 years, a whole generation well-educated. Can you imagine your country how it would be? I'm sure the temperature will go down. Wow, I really appreciate your answers, really, in what you have just explained. That's absolutely, truly happening in Pakistan. Poorers are getting poorer and with the number of children, richer are getting richer with the less children, hardly one. That's and sorry, really my English is not, is not that perfect to, to help me to, uh, to go on details uh, or in, uh, to make it more deep. Uh, but anyway, I... Oh, no, you're, you're good. Best. You're good. Of course. Uh, you know, some topics require a lot of, you know, new words maybe to express ourselves, yeah. but uh, you were awesome. You were awesome. And I, I yeah. couldn't agree with you more. Really, I, I, yeah. I see eye to eye with you on that. Uh, I mean, we, we yeah. definitely need to change our mindsets first. The mindset is the key, is everything. Without that... But th this is really important question because yeah, always... He, he, he asked, what about us, the normal people who are just surviving? I mean, life is tough. Life is not easy at all. So Sorry, he said, okay, what can we do, us, the normal Sorry. people, the, 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 just normal people who are just surviving, what they can do? We can do nothing. But this suggestion, if anybody has any better suggestion for those people, I'm not talking okay. about rich people or in the high power positions of people. No, I'm talking about those normal, normal people who are working to live just to put food on table for their families. So there is not, nothing much we can do, but this, uh, this uh, suggestion, I mean, focus on the generation, the kids, the, the, the lives we bring to this life, Okay, they should have really good, uh, good life, good options, good, uh, good care. If anybody has better suggestion, okay, please go ahead. Sorry, sir. Can I talk yes. something? Yes, please go yes. ahead. Please, please. Okay. Uh, I talk too I much. Have... Sorry. Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I want to leave this meeting because my teacher, uh, she gave me a lot of assignment and deadline is one hours again. It's a fair a lot of assignment. All right. All right. Uh, good to see you here. Uh, it was lovely talking to you. Yeah, you were a very good listener, <laughs> but maybe uh -huh. we can see and meet up again some other time. Have a, have a good yeah, time. Yes. Take care of yourself. Asian uh, opinion also. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Definitely. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Have a early day. My too. pleasure. Bye -bye. My pleasure. Uh, of course, we. I couldn't. I couldn't had a. Uh, ha, how can I say? Have a, a chance to welcome Lucas. Lucas is uh, one of the best. <laughs> welcome there. aboard, man. Hello there. <laughs> Hello, Lucas. Uh, how are you doing? Can you hear me, guys? Yes. Of course. Yes. Oh yes. As I said before with Teacher Mason, I'm working a lot this week. Yeah, yeah and I just came along with the conversation you guys were sharing with us. Um, I couldn't agree any, uh, couldn't agree more with the, with you, Abidullah, because yes, education is the key to answer these things. And as Teacher Mason said before, it's not it's not a thing that happened overnight, you know. And yeah, I couldn't agree more with this. I have a kid; he's six years old. And I'm studying software development. So what can I do today for him to just, be a better yeah. person tomorrow? Just to yeah, exactly. just to listen to him. First of all, listen to him. Listen to him. 
to know what he think about the world, uh, the world, you know. Yeah. And the second thing to pass to him what I what I've learned. I'm 28 now. He's six years old, you know. So how can I say that? Uh, I, I I lost the word, but yeah. we should see the past. To pass, to pass your experience to him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We should see the past as a as a as a way to to make yeah. things better in the yeah. future yes exactly and education is the key the, the only word I can, I can say for the moment yeah i always say our problems are going nowhere but we can uh, just learn from them i mean we have problems okay they are going nowhere you you cannot rid of uh, yeah. your problems but at least you can learn from them for for the future if yeah, not for yeah. our free future, maybe for the next generation future. Complaining we can about pass the, the experience yeah. to them. Complaining about problems doesn't solve the problems we're facing right now, you know? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. We exactly. We, as an adult, we complain with each other. But when, when it comes to a child, we should speak to them uh, calmly and try to pass for them uh, our good experiences, you know? The bad experiences that they, they will face tomorrow, it doesn't matter how, but they, they will. That's the uh, that's how the world uh, works, you know. But we try yeah. to do our best, and education yes. is the key. Yes, exactly. And so, surprisingly, I don't know from little experience with the new kids or the new generations in the last five or ten years. I don't. I'm single. I don't have kids. So, but from my my nieces and from uh, friends or or a lot of kids uh, in the family so those kids they are smarter than us i think i don't know how or why maybe i agree uh, uh, yeah my uh, my my niece is like one year and a half and he can uh, uh, open uh, the smartphone he can navigate the uh, uh, YouTube and choose what he likes and uh, then yeah. put on full screen and uh, lower or uh, the, the the voice the, the sound I don't know yeah. I feel that they are smarter uh, than before these new generations and they can you have to take them seriously I mean you have to take to talk with them as as an adult I think yeah, and being optimistic to this topic, I think they are in the best generation, you know. Uh, I was talking to my mom <laughs> two weeks ago about this, and I was asking her about, Mom, do you know how people uh, preserve food, for example, before the refrigerator? And he said, they use salt, for example. And nowadays we have refrigerator, we have internet, you know. And I, I, I was talking with a friend of mine and he said something really interesting uh this generation this generation they will be in a big data you know so everything they had actually is on a big data is on a data center so is the the how can i say the decay of technology you know so yes. yeah i i'm i'm very optimist optimistic about this because that, that there is a lot of information on the internet. We just, yeah, we just as an consume, adult, you cannot consume even maybe one percent yeah, of the information available but, on the internet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you talk, Tisha? <laughs> we have a couple of seconds. Of course, this was really lovely conversation. Hopefully, we can continue yeah. <laughs> next time again. It is going to stop automatically. Bye, everyone. Uh, uh, Zoom problem. <laughs> yeah. I just, thanks. Like, I just yeah, want everyone. to thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you yeah, for being you, with see us. You, see you soon. See you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.